Good afternoon, everybody. It is Sunday, uh, August 15th, 1.06 p.m. We didn't get home and to bed until after one o'clock in the morning last night. We hit a very bad traffic accident and a lot of road construction um, on the way home. So yeah, it was a long, long trip. <sighs> we spent the morning trying to sleep in and um, I was dealing with leg cramps because I think I was just on my feet in high heels for too much yesterday and all the things. So anyway, um, we've been just relaxing at home, catching up on chores, put, doing laundry, uh, putting things away, and I just got the vlog for last week edited. So I'm hoping to get it up today and scheduled and I'm going to try to write all the posts for the week today and get those scheduled for the Facebook groups. Because there's um, tomorrow, at least one day this coming week, I'm going to be helping my dad clean out the house. And so I just would rather not think about that stuff while I'm in his house. So, yeah. Anyway. Tired. I'm trying to catch up and it's just hard. Uh, anyway. I think that's it. I've got the new list of thank you notes that need to be written and other list. I don't, I'm missing some addresses, so I'm going to have to check with my dad tomorrow when I'm up there. He told me to bring the list with me. He might have the addresses. I can write them down. And yeah, I think that's it for the minute. I, of course, always have projects to do, but right now family takes a priority. So if I can do the edit editing and writing today and maybe do last night's, today's, and tomorrow's daily drawings, then I'll be good. Maybe. I'll be back. This is kind of a funny thing. We were headed out after helping the kids with the, some car stuff at our house yep. to go get dinner. We were going to just get takeout, get some Panda Express because we're both exhausted and then go home and eat it and just relax on the couch, fill the car up with gas on the way home and all that. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. We ran into the kids in our neighborhood down the street picking up some free chairs from the sidewalk where they were going to be thrown out in the garbage, which is tomorrow. And um, yeah, they evidently need help getting the chairs back to their house. So you can see two of them there over my shoulder. So I guess we're eating our Panda Express at their house. So. And delivering chairs. And delivering chairs, yeah. Because that's what you do on Sunday, right? Right. Right. All right, we'll be back. Monday morning, 9.23 a.m. Bob took the day off. We are headed to my dad's um, to clean out my mom's closets. I guess dad's closets now. And make some donations and help him with some paperwork. So it's not going to be a fun day, I don't think. So anyway, I'll let you know how it goes. I'll be back. Good morning everybody. It is Tuesday morning, August 17th, I think. I don't know what time it is. 8, 11 a.m. Anyway, it's finally... I gotta check the mail on my way back. Um, cool enough today. I might actually think I can get two walks in, so I'm out walking this morning. I'll go out again later with Bob and try to make up for the lack of steps the last few days. Because of dealing with my mom's funeral and helping my dad at his house, clearing space, 
moving things around. Now that mom is not there, he can move the house around to suit him better. Uh, clearing out her things he doesn't want to keep that have no emotional or physical value to him. Um, Elizabeth and I, my sister, helped quite a bit with that yesterday, as did Bob. It was really great, I think, for him to have Bob there helping him with some paperwork and documents that needed clearing. Anyway, that all being said, it was difficult and challenging and surreal. I had no idea my mother liked to collect knives. Every time you do somebody's clear out who's passed away, it seems like, no matter how close to them you were or weren't, there's always something surprising you learn about them that you didn't know. And my mother ever evidently liked knives. Not kitchen knives, although she had a fair amount of them too. Dad's keeping most of them. I mean pocket knives and daggers. Seriously, people. <laughs> like, we found, I think, like 12 so far. <laughs> it's amazing. I did bring home one dagger and a folding pocket knife box cutter thing. I've never seen before, but I thought it was interesting. So I'll put some pictures here. Um, neither one of them, I'm sure, has great value, but the dagger I thought was pretty. So anyway, uh, but it's emotionally challenging and difficult and I'm supposed to do a Patreon live today, but I honestly don't know if I'm going to be up to it mentally. I'm going to go for a walk this morning and we'll see what happens. Yeah, I was all supposed to, supposed to get a haircut today, but I messaged Cassandra yesterday and said, can we reschedule that because I'm just not up to it. She said, it's your no problem. So we're gonna put it off for a couple, actually a couple of weeks. My hair's gonna grow a lot by then. So anyway, I'm gonna get some steps in, try to get some interesting neighborhood nature picks, clear the air, take some deep breaths, clear the mood, and I'll be back. floor for me. <laughs> I need a Roger for upstairs. It's on my Christmas list. I'll be back. Everybody, it is 9 a.m. Wednesday. August 18th, or so the computer says, which is right behind you. I am doing a little bit of crocheting this morning and waiting for a Zoom meeting. With, and then I have to go out and run some errands. I've got to go over to Walmart to pick up a couple things. And my parents' wedding rings should be ready today. So I've got to go get that. Anyway... I also got to word from my little sister. She's on her way home to Utah. Um, right now she'll text me and the rest of the siblings when she gets there so that we all know she got there safely. And um, <laughs> she did let me know that we need to keep an eye on dad. She's gonna let everybody else know too later when she gets home, but we need to keep an eye on dad because evidently he's not drinking any water again. Coffee and lemonade only. Dad, that doesn't count. You need to drink water. Water, it's good for you. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's a thing. 
All right, that's it for the minute. Uh, I'm gonna get some steps in this morning, but they're gonna probably primarily be steps while I'm shopping. That's okay, still steps, they still count. Uh, I need to, oh, speaking of which, I need to go to my August Walk Challenge Facebook group and go put my step count in for yesterday. And which was over 17,000, almost 18,000. So made to, makes up for all the slow days this month so far. Uh, anyway, I'm hoping to do just as well, if not better today, at least over 10,000. So we will see. I don't know that we're going walking, walking later. I think we're going to try to do some grocery shopping later. But again, it's still steps, even if they're in the grocery store, it still counts. So, all right, I'll be back. Okay, collaboration meetings are done and coffee is consumed. It's actually almost lunchtime. So I am actually gonna go run some errands, pick up my parents' wedding rings from the jeweler and run a couple of other errands and then come home for lunch. I'll be back. I picked up my parents' wedding rings from the jeweler. I'll put a picture here. They've been linked together forever. And uh, when dad comes on Friday, I will take him back over to the jewelers and we'll help him pick a chain out to hang them on. And uh, yeah, if he's feeling up to it. So, yeah. <sighs> Off to Walmart now. I need to get some stuff over there. I'm supposed to be rinsing with a particular kind of coral rinse. I have some issue with tartars, uh, tartar on my teeth and it's causing some gum irritation, so I gotta take care of that. So we're gonna head over to Walmart. Evidently, according to the dentist, they're one of the few places around that has the kind she wants me to use, and I, in this particular brand, I've looked it up, and I've looked everywhere we've gone to the store, I haven't seen it anywhere else, so I'm gonna have to go to Walmart. Anyway, we're headed over there now. I'll be back. It is Thursday, August 19th, I think, and it is, 8.43 a.m. I am headed back to the grocery store because last night's grocery shopping adventures did not yield everything we needed them to. Welcome to the COVID decade. Um, the store employees did claim that it was because they were restocking and not because of any supply chain issues, but there was definitely a couple things that they didn't have that we need. And also we forgot that we need tin foil, so I needed, would have needed to go back anyway. I'm gonna try a different store and hopefully I'll find it, so. We are on the hunt for Bob's beer. I found everything I couldn't find last night except that. It seems to be the new toilet paper. What the hell? All right, I'll be back. Hey guys, so I just, our neighbors are so sweet. They have the cutest two little girls too, but she just brought me some cheer me up flowers because my mom, I told her my mom passed away. How sweet is that? Makes me want to cry. <clears throat> anyway, uh, I got told to stop doing word brain because the husband's gonna want help later. We play word brain every night to help keep the you know brain active. And um, they have these, it's a word search game, just for FYI. If I can find like a link or something, I'll put it down below, but it's called word brain and a little, Icon for it has a little brain guy. Brain, yeah. Anyway, uh, they have these bonus games in the game. And uh, every few weeks, you get bonus hints if you complete it. And you do it every day. And this one is really hard. So I'm three quarters of the way through today's round of puzzles. But I'm going to stop so I can help the husband later because we're finding this one really hard and we've got to work on it together. Anyway, I also unexpectedly 
fun, planned, or sorted and reorganized my sticker and collage bin. I, I was not on the list of things to do today. I'll show you what I did. In my old videos, you know that my stickers and collage images were in by sorted in binders, and the binders were in this bin or on a shelf, and that worked really well in the old room, but it hasn't worked well in this room. So I took my bin, I did that to it. Not really. Okay, so I took my bin, which is one of these large bins here that's at the bottom of my cabinet. And I had my large collage images in these file folders. They're still in the file folders. I took all the small ones out of the binders and put them in this box. Um, and I used things I already had, by the way. I didn't buy anything to do this with. Um, inside of this box is all of my smaller collage images and a separate zipper pouch that has just people in it is also inside the box. Then I took all of my stickers and labels and things and put them in these pouches sorted by type. These are from the office supply store. Uh, including, so I've got all my, my stickers, uh, purchase stickers, and my stickers from my Etsy shop, handmade stickers like these that are made from painty papers. I also have a box of those because I have too many of them. So I have this box. Yeah. I also have some of these bookmarks. Where'd they go? I just shoved them in here. <clears throat> these these are like bookmarks or postcards. They're from Wish or AliExpress. I really love using them. They have all different kinds. I want to try if I can see if I can find some more. And then I have these are clear sticky pockets. Let's see. Oh, like this. So you can stick them to your page. A bunch of different sizes. These are paint chips that I've used my old Xyron, which I don't have anymore on, and turned them into stickers. I'm trying to use stuff up. Um, and these are pads of stickers, planner stickers and other kind of stickers. These are my two new ones that I got there from um, Michael's. Anyway, I think that's gonna work much better because I can reach in here if I want one of these floral stickles or just pull this out. If I want one of those bookmarks, I'll just put that, pull that out. And getting the binders out was too much. It was too hard. So anyway. So I like to dig in my bins, but I only like to dig so much and then I get bored. Yeah, it's a thing. So anyway, that's what I did today. Did I need, did I need to? Nope. But it's done. <laughs> All right, I'll I be I also back. found a couple of images um, I wanna use in some journals. I found these two birds. I don't know where these are from, but pr pr probably from an art magazine. I don't know where, remember where any of these are from. They're all from magazines or something, product packaging. I found these two, and I found this guy, and then I found these. I don't know where I don't know where they're from. I found this guy, and I found this cute little couple. <laughs> so I think. Some of these will get saved for some October work and journaling, or at least I will film it and not air it until then. And then I also took this bin that I had. It's a, a bin divided into three sections and put in, um, I have a bunch of little stickers and things from Wish and AliExpress, little um, journaling kits with different ephemera and stickers in them. Uh, little small pieces of paper and collage papers and all sorts of things. Um, th so they're all sorted into here too now. Because this is, again, this is what I did with my day today. I don't know. I'll be back. 
so it's 2 53 or so p.m on friday august 20th at least that's what people tell me <laughs> i'm out getting a few steps in with my dad and tala that's them there we already had an exciting morning. <laughs> Are you taking uh, I'm taking video. Say hi to the people. Oh, hello. See? And we got mom with us. Yes, so we had my dad's wedding rings um, and mom's wedding rings uh, attached together and then went and got him a chain this morning. So he's got that done. Then we had an adventure with a bee getting in the house and that was interesting. Yeah, it's been a weird Friday. <laughs> I can tell you it's been a strange day. Anyway, I've got no art done, but you know, maybe tomorrow. All right, I'll be back. It is Saturday morning, August 21st, 1st, 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 um, 8.55 a.m. Anyway, last night was family dinner night. My dad and Tala came down, as you saw. Um, Tala hasn't really been inside my house before, so that was a first, and she and Lily are getting used to each other. They both are food aggressive, so that was interesting. Um, note to self, create one when you feed the other, and then when the other one needs to be fed, switch. Um, so <laughs> they're both fine. They didn't hurt each other, but you know, there's a little growling involved. Um, Tala also took one of Lily's little stuffy toys, a little gray koala bear outside with her when she went potty because my dad didn't think to take it away from her and I wasn't around to pay attention and I don't know where the koala bear is. It did not come back in the house and I cannot find it. So I don't know what she did with it. It was an interesting evening. <laughs> Everybody just was sort of kind of off. Um, we're all fine. It's just been a weird couple of weeks and I don't know if it's just because my mom passed or Mercury's in retrograde again, or I don't know, but it's just like weird. Anyway, um, Lily had, a, I'm Lily. Tala had a couple of accidents in the house. By the way, Tala's a full blood, purebred German Shepherd. And um, she is old, she's almost 11. She had a couple accidents in the house. So we are gonna spend this morning shampooing the throw rug from the living room um, and getting that cleaned up and then setting that to dry. And then we have to go run a couple of errands. We need to go to Costco. So, um, and we're on the koala bear hunt. I don't know where it is. We've looked in the backyard four or five times. We've searched the house a few times. I have no idea. So I'm gonna check the guest room where she and dad slept last night, but dad said he didn't see it. I don't know. Anyway. Okay, so y'all see that mail truck back there over my shoulder? We're on, out for a walk. We walked by that truck right there. Um, I'm assuming he's on a break. The ma mail carrier is slumped over taking a nap on his steering wheel. He did move and adjust himself once, so I know he's not unconscious. But yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, interesting. All right, we're going to keep walking. I'll be hey back. Hey guys, it's Saturday night, 7 o'clock-ish, I think. We are cooking some lasagna for dinner. We're letting it cool off for a couple minutes. And I came outside to just check one more thing. We cannot find the dog toy. It is not in the house. It is not outside of the house. I'm over here in the woods on the other side of our fence. I don't normally come over here. See if I can get over here without hurting myself. Hold on. It's not out here. Glad I've got my tall boots on though. Yes, I'm not being stupid, you guys. I have my tall, you can't pinch me, stick me, poke me, or bite me boots. That's what they're called, right? 
anyway, it's been a long, weird week. I mean, you know, yeah, it's been a strange one. Anyway, I don't know. It'll get better, I guess. But bonus, my brain is overloaded with ideas for art projects. So I'm going to make some notes and write some of them down. I'm going to catch up on daily drawing. I do have yesterday's drawings. I just didn't post them. So I'll post them tonight. It's all right. All right. That's it for now. I hope you've had a great week or a better one than I've had. <laughs> anyway, I will see you all next week. Don't forget to be nice to each other. Make some art. Be happy. Wear your mask. Take precautions. And yeah, check out the video description for relevant links, ways to support the free content on YouTube. If you want to see the new content before everybody else on YouTube does, you need to be over on Patreon. So join and the link is down below. Along with my Etsy store and a bunch of other stuff. Some of it's listed in my link tree list of links. Again, down below. Check it out. That's it for right now. Go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We're going to go have some lasagna and I'll see you next week. Bye guys.